these last four weeks has been the, the emotions of a lifetime. It's been, it's been crazy. We have been uh, facing death in a way we, I never hoped I should. Uh, we almost lost our best player, uh, our best friend, the heart of the team. We fought with emotions like crazy. We didn't know what to do. We didn't know how to, to get through it. We tried to fight the best we have learned through that, these emotions. Um, we have played fantastic football. Uh, we have shown who we are. I'm very proud of these boys. I'm very proud of the, the people of Denmark, the support and love and compassion we have been given. And that has helped us uh, through this time. John Dykes back with us now, just as we do take a look at the head-to-head, -head, though, between the two sides, England and Denmark. Goal scored going in favour of England. Clean sheets as well. And when it comes to knockout advances, it's in favour of England. They'll hope it does stay that way. But John Dykes back with us. And just to talk about Denmark and this wonderful fairy tale story that we have seen, John, yes, they have continued to pay tribute to Christian Eriksen, but they're actually a good side too, aren't they? Very much so, Kay. And I think it's important to recognize this isn't a fairy tale, as you say, for complete outsiders. If you look at the FIFA world rankings, as, even as recently as April and May, they've pushed into the top 10 in the world. If you look at their encounters with England, talking about head to head, as we just did, you know, back in the Nations League uh, affair towards the end of last year, they drew 1 0 0, and they even won at Wembley uh, by a goal to nil. But what has happened, which is fascinating for human side, is that in the absence of Ericsson, the team that played in the Nations League with a 4 3 3, has switched to a back three. They used to be very dependent on his crea creativity in their previous formation, but now the wing backs have come to the fore. And of course, we've all been talking about Joachim Mela, who's been brilliant, the right footed player playing down the left hand side, Jens Strier Larsen with his contribution from the right hand side. And they've got this powerhouse midfield with Huibert, who's been so effective, with Delaney, who stops everything that moves. They really are a threat with a cutting edge, as we've seen in particular from Dolberg lately. They're a side that really shouldn't be. I would say, patronized because they're a genuine force in this tournament. You know, John, coming from Denmark, who are overachieving with England, it seems like this is a team that was like a diesel engine in the Euros. Started out really slow, but now they're starting to hum on all cylinders. What does Gareth Southgate need to do to make sure that this joyride keeps going into the finals? I think what he needs to do, Aaron, more than anything, is just keep doing what he's doing because uh, the momentum they've got behind them is an amazing thing, particularly at the top end of the pitch. You've got Harry Kane who's scoring goals again, and he's a streaky player. Once he gets going, he will score more goals. He's got Raheem Sterling for company. And remember, he and Kane both in the hunt for the golden boot, and Sterling could be the player of the tournament so far. The decisions that uh, Southgate has made so far have been vindicated. Sancho, a great pick for the last game. And now they may be mindful of those wingbacks I just mentioned from Denmark. They were when they played Germany. But Southgate knows that his strength lies in midfield. Maybe Mason Mount plays again, but just drops a little deeper to combat that combative Danish midfield. I don't think Southgate needs to change too much. And given the control they've exerted on games so far, no goals conceded, I wouldn't be surprised if he looks to keep this one as tight as he possibly can. He has so many options, whether it be Foden, Saka or Grealish. And remember, all of the five goals the Danes have conceded have come in the second halves of their matches. That might be the play for Southgate and a really impressive England side. You know, whether it is the Euros or the AFC Champions League, as long as there's football, John Dykes is there to break it all down. Thanks, John. <laughs>